There's also specialized hardware out there that's undercutting some of the GPUs uh, out there and emerging in the market. So providers like Google, you know, TPUs and Amazon's, you know, uh, Trainium and uh, Inferentia, I love the way they may name these stuff, offer hardware optimized for LLM performance. And often they can provide better cost performance ratio than GPUs that you buy off the shelf. So again, you have to look at what this stuff costs and what you're using it for. Uh, and then figure out the costs that are associated with it. Obviously, when you go to a public cloud provider, you can leverage dozens and dozens of types of processors that are able to provide you with with high performance AI systems. It's about picking the right processor, how much it's going to cost, the right memory model, the platform, you know, network connection. All that stuff has to be configured so it's optimized for the particular use case you're looking for. You're, you're going to use it for and understand that every minute that you're on that processor, it's going to be pretty expensive. So if we're able to minimize that and we need to use the higher end processors, you know, that's going to be an option as well. So, and GPUs deprecate quickly in artificial intelligence. AI AI involves rapidly making GPUs lose value fast. So the minute you buy a GPU, it's going to depreciate like crazy and it's going to be replaced by something else because that's going to be better and faster. All you have to do is look at, you know, what NVIDIA does, uh, their ability to drop many processors very quick over time, the new one having, you know, advanced capabilities of the old one. So you don't want to get into that kind of a world where you're buying a depreciated, de- depreciating asset. 